Digga. Oh mein Gott! This is the new car. <clears throat> Welcome back to another episode of Pro Drive Um, it's Miata time again. Um, we're gonna try and do our best to finish this off. So, uh, last week for me, off camera, I mucked around with all the reverse sensor, electronics, loom bits and pieces. Um, I was there for like four hours trying to figure out what was going on. Couldn't figure it out. So I've bought a new reverse sensor and globes. But they're not here yet. And I don't think they'll be here in time soon. So don't worry about that. Um, I also bought a new slave cylinder. Um, from MX5 Mania in Sydney. They've got all the good parts that you need. If I can try and get this open. So with this one, this is, I don't know if it's made by Exeti or they just sell it, but this is called Equal. I have seen this brand being sold by other people, so maybe it's not by Exeti. Um, but anyway, you've got this. It comes in two bits. Oh, you're going to focus? Thank you. Comes in two bits. I'll show you how to put that together, but I might do that later because I can't be bothered squeezing in there again and taking all that crap off. And I also got a little keychain with it. Oh, and I bought some crush washers for the gearbox and the motor. Oh, wait, they sent out three. I think I ordered two. Oh, well, that's sick. Um, but yeah, how cool is that? And a little sticker, because they're the best. Yep, don't worry about focusing, don't worry about it. Ah! And what I also bought, which was really expensive, probably um, not needed. I bought a shift knob for my car that's not running. But how cool is it? by mr grip on instagram they're from america custom made to whatever you want you've got the customization for the bottom so what we've got here is black and red glitter in pink and red cherry blossoms 10 inch long schlong it's extremely long i can't even reach the top but um Yeah, might have to get a little short shifter going on here. But yeah, it's very beautiful. But anyway, um, as you can see, I've been mucking around the reverse parts. Don't worry about that, I'm going to pack it up. Um, but also, we've got all this shit to put back together. And we've got underneath to put back together. So, we'll start with... I think it's the tail shaft we start with. Instead of the um, PPF. So I think we go tail shaft then PPF. If I remember. So let's get under there and start doing that. I also got a new light. These things are good. Very good. It's kind of hard because you're facing the sun. But, where's the button? Works very good. So we've got the tail shaft. We're going to plug it in that side first. There's a bit of wind. Apologies for that. Um, that's the reverse sensor. Sick. So that's what I've got to take out later. It's not really hard to pull off. It doesn't look like. And there's the wiring and shit. So we're not going to worry about that. Let's just get it back together. Tail shaft goes in there. And we will bolt it to the diff down there. Eh. And you clip in there, like so. Uh. 
Uh, sweet, we've already run into a fucking problem. So as you can see, the front of the tail shaft's in, if it wants to focus. So it's up against the gearbox, it seems to be in pretty good. But anyway, if we go here, so that's the diff and the end of the tail shaft. Um, these holes don't line up. And it seems the auto one is the... It'll work. So, we'll try and pop the auto one on. I know there's a little bit difference in length because this plate here is different. So, we'll try and pop that on too. We'll take this one back off. Ow. Ow. Right here. I think the auto one's a little longer too. Or shorter, either or. But that fits fine. Yeah, it's way shorter. No way that's gonna work. Fuck. Fuck me! So if we have a quick look here. This is the manual one, that's the auto. Um, these are different. They're, this one's a little bit more spaced out, if you know what I mean, as this one, the holes wouldn't line up. And also the holes are bigger in this one, not this. All right, so we're not gonna worry about putting the underneath of the car in because I gotta wait on picking up another tail shaft. Um, in the meantime, I did buy some little niblets. I wasn't sure what size, it's not even focusing, for, um, I've lost it. There is a vacuum line somewhere that I've lost. Um, I think it's down there somewhere. Let me get the torch. So it is, oh my God, I lost it again. Just down here, this, Little nipple there, I've got to block that off. Um, let's try this one. What size is that? Quarter inch. It looks like it's going to fit. One way to find out. Fits pretty snugly. It's a little loose. Um, we'll try and shove one of these on. So the smaller one is eighth of an inch. It's gonna be a tight fit, I think. I can't even get my hand back down there. Oh fuck's sake. Nothing's fucking working. Alright, so that one definitely didn't fit, but that one, the quarter inch does fit snugly, I can't even see it. Um, I'm just going to put a zip tie around it as well. Just to make sure it's in there good. Ah, so now let's just start putting some of the interior back. Back together, there wasn't too much, but that's alright. So, what we have got, we've got the surround for steering. We've also got center console. Um... That's kind of it. Just get that back together. Oh, and I also bought um, the shift boot, which we can also put on. I might leave it off for now, just in case, because there is gearbox fluid in this little reservoir, um, if that makes sense. So, in case I do need to top it up, I think that's it or something. Um, I can do that from here. I can't remember which screws go on where, but we're going to try. 
I don't even know if you can see anything either. Do you go in there? <sighs> Fuck me. Hello, I'm back. Uh, um, just went and picked up the new dry shaft. So this is the one I'm meant to have. This is what I was complaining about the other, uh, as you'll see just before. This and this, they're a bit bigger holes and a bit more spaced out where this isn't. Um, and they're a little bit different length, actually. I think this one, the new one's a bit shorter. So we'll figure that out. Um, yeah. So this goes on, we'll go throw that on, and then the PPF, and that should hold it all together. That's in. I should have grabbed the bolts, shouldn't I? Alright, so there's a tail shaft, there's a diff, uh, if it wants to focus. Fuck me. Um, we've got two bolts in, I'm just going to spin it around, we're going to do the other two. Um, but I think the diff needs to be pushed up anyway, so it's not going to line up properly. But we'll see how good we wrestle with it. That's all locked up. Now we should be able to torque these down to tight. Um, I don't know the correct setting, but... I'm just going to give them a, one of those. So, tail shaft's in. Probably could use a lick of paint, but oh well, should be right. That's in. Uh, now we've got the PPF, which bolts from here. Remember those really long bolts? We've got those. And... The loom's kind of in the way. But goes towards the diff anyway. Goes into the diff. But before we do that, we've got, this is the speed sensor, or the speed gear, whatever you want to call, that we have right here. I'm just going to go ahead and bolt that in, because that the PPF will block it. Um, and also, I might move that jack somewhere on the tail shaft to lift it up. PPF's a bit of a tricky part, because you've got to get it all aligned, because the PPF's not going to bend. You know what I mean? Like, you can't force it in. It's either got to be straight or that's it. It's not going to go in. So we're going to make sure everything's nice and straight and it'll go in easy. So unfortunately I tried to jack it up and it's just getting in the way so I'm going to have to manhandle the PPF in which isn't going to be fun at all. But I think we'll start from the gearbox side and line this up. If we go into my box of bolts we've got these long ass bolts. It should be, okay so we've got the, I think these are the rear ones with the, the notches in them. Mini washers, not mini but you know what I mean. And also these, which go in the top of the diff and hold it all together. So those little things, if it wants to focus, um, they act as the nut. Well, it seems the, um, I can't really grab the camera and show you. The speed sensor wants to go through the PPF. I'll show you once it's in. Uh, so we've got this block that looks like it goes on top of the diff and then these little mushrooms hold it in and we've seen we've got it's in it's a little bit fucky at the gearbox but I think that's from um, it not being aligned so if we try and get the diff 
bolted in we can kind of lift the diff up and it should line up with the front all right so this is the ppf here um it was a little bit of a squish to get on as these are tight with the top and bottom but if we grab a bolt Hopefully, let me wipe that so it's no fucking gunk on it. Hopefully, it should line up. Which, it probably doesn't. Oh, maybe. Alright. So, ow. I kind of caught the diff in. Um, it's probably a two-man job if you need. Oh, I need a fucking headrest. And this is not comfortable. So what I did, I had to lift the diff up. That block, remember? I had to put that up the top, slide it in place. It wasn't easy, like I had to hold shit in place and whatnot. Um, and then one bolt, and I've got the second bolt here. I'm just gonna grab the nut. And instead of me pushing those mushrooms in, I'll let the thread pull it in, you know what I mean? I shouldn't probably tighten this up. I might tighten it up and then loosen it off. So I've still got movement in it that I can line up the gearbox. Oh, yeah, this ratchet's fucked. I've also got this bolt here, which I don't have because the auto didn't have this thing because this is the manual PPF, it's different. Um, so I'm gonna have to find a bolt and I'm guessing like a little plate as well because that's not really lining up there But we're lined up here. Let's, you know what I mean? I'm gonna try and line this gearbox one up which I think it's gonna be a pain Because I'm gonna have to lift the diff up at the same time. I think Oh, there you go. Kind of lined up, I think, I hope. And with these ones, you don't need any fucking mushrooms or whatever you want to call them. They do have the nuts on top. Hopefully they line up. Sort of. I think it might be a bit on the piss. I think that one's grabbed the thread. Maybe. Alright, cool. Oh, PPF is on. Except for that one bolt. Um, and what I had to do, I had to take the speed sensor back off, yeah? Because it runs through the PPF. If I can show you through that hole, the speed sensor's right there. And I think... It wants to run through that hole like that. Yeah, cool. And I've got to try and line this up again. If I can show you, there's the little key. Oh, fucking focus, will ya? There's the little key. Alright. Kind of run out of energy. And I'm filthy. But. Tail shaft's in. PPF is in. What we've got left, we've just got to button up that loom back on the PPF as it. It's like clipped onto it. I might have to zip tie it on. Don't know how good those clips are. Put, and then we've got to put the exhaust on. Hopefully it's not too hard. We've got a bit more tools from when we took it off. Um, and that's kind of it. We can kind of start it. We can't drive it because the clutch master isn't bled, nor the gearbox has any fluid. But the exhaust will be on and it won't be loud, so we can kind of start it. But yeah, let's get under there and do some more work. Alright, so looms all tucked into place. All tucked in. Um, I had a 
earth to put in. Um, this is the diff side. There's just an earth hanging off the loom, so that's bolted up. That's nice. The clips are all right, I guess. Um, the back half of the exhaust is back on the hanger. I've left this one off. I don't know if you can see. I can't see the fucking screen. Just so in case I need any movement. Um, but now we've just got the exhaust to put back on, which is up there. It's probably going to be a prick, but we're going to try our best. So wish me luck. Hopefully it's not harder than the PPF. I'll probably just jinx myself, so rip. Got that fucking gasket. Come on. Ah, back off. Did I put the gasket on wrong? Fuck! Dizzy. Alright, I'm sorry what I'm gonna do. I think I might have gotten rid of the bolts when I gave away the gearbox. Just, I gave away the, all the bolts and stuff. Um, that I thought will dealt with that. I must have given away the exhaust bolts. So I'm going to run up to Bunnings and get some proper ones because I think these are BPT threads, so they're not going to go in all the way. Um, so I'll do that because I need some more nuts for the cat back. I need those. I need a bolt for the starter motor. I need bits and pieces, so I'll be back. Just got back from Bunnings. Um, I got a new ratchet because... I broke the other one, and some, oh it's not focusing, some bolts and shit, um, nuts hopefully the right size, washers, um, I got some bolts for the starter motor, because I was missing one, so we'll try them both, see if they fit, and some more nuts, um, I'm going to throw this starter motor bolt in, hopefully anyway, but i got to charge the camera, so I'll be back. Ah, right, I'm back. Camera is nice and charged. All right, so as you can see, the exhaust is on. Um, I also put the bolt, that extra bolt that we needed in the starter motor. That's in. That's sick. It, I had to double up on washers. It was a fucking tiny bit too long, but that's fine. That's in. I'm not going to show you because you can't even see it. I couldn't get any tools on it, barely. It's not as tight as I'd like, but it's as tight as I could get it. Um, we put... The new nuts on the exhaust, I don't know what's going dark for, um, they're up there, they were a little bit of a prick to get to, but um, they're on, that's fine. I've put two more on the cap back, that's nice and tight, that's beautiful, so this is all done. Um, all I've got to do left is fill up the gearbox with oil, or change it, I don't know if there's any in there. Um, I've got to put the new slave cylinder on and bleed that. And on the top of the gearbox, you've got a little bit of extra fluid. Um, I'll show you anyway when I get to it. But that's enough for this episode. I don't know how long this episode's going to be. I'll try and keep it short, but we'll see how we go. But um, thank you for watching this episode of Pro Driveway. My hands are filthy and it's like nearly, nearly 40 degrees today, so I'm sweating bullets. But um, yeah, if you did enjoy, remember to like. Drop a subscribe if you want some more and comment on how we did. Um, but yeah, thanks all for watching. Well, thanks all for sticking around throughout this Miata manual swap. Um, next week I'll be back with how to fill up the gearbox and how to fill up the little top bit on the shifter and also how to bleed a clutch if you don't know. I think we've done that on the channel before. But um, yeah. Also, how to put together a um, slave cylinder because mine's apart and I've got to put it together. It's not hard, you'll see. I'll see you next time.